According to their because scripture, he, because he was who he says he no. Is according to the scripture, God is God, man is man. There's a distinction between it. There is, and that's what yeah. that's what's so amazing about about Jesus. What is amazing about Jesus being dependent on someone else? How can God be? I want to I want to hear your views, uh, Simeon. Do you it, your name, Mansur, 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 Simeon? Mansur. Yeah. Can you envisage? God the Father being dependent on someone else for his existence. Actually, I don't think he is. Let me answer his question. I will answer your question. Yeah, go ahead. You were studying animals. They didn't think this a few years ago, but a dog is a little bit more than twice as intelligent as a cat. A, 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 a dog typically, ha typically has 230 million cortical neurons. Cat only has about 100 million. So I reckon a dog is about twice as clever as a cat. As far as dogs go, Rottweilers are quite intelligent dogs. Now I used to have a Rottweiler, and as hard as I tried, I could not get her to grasp quadratic equations. As hard as I tried. And I think, this, I think, listen, you know listen to me, listen to me, mm -hmm. and I think that's the trouble we have nowadays. We're trying to answer questions we have no concept of until we die. This, this is, is where I would disagree with you, um, if you would all due respect. There are things which we can use our intellect and our senses to understand and answer these questions. The whole science, for example, will crumble unless it, as an axiom, takes rationality in its methodology. If the world is if the world wasn't rational, the science cannot operate in this world. That's why laws and understanding of these laws and so on is based on the world is rational, we can make sense of it. So the question I was asking about the Father in Trinity, you would never accept the Father can be dependent on anyone or anything. It would make no sense, correct? You're trying to God, answer God, the questions God. just one second. Do you, do you agree? The Father within the Trinity cannot be dependent for his own existence. God can't be dependent. No, the Father. Are you saying the Father can be dependent? I don't think the Father is dependent. What do but you But if somebody said the Father was dependent, would the Father be labelled in any way, shape or form God? I'm trying to be my right father now. Is it possible? Why, why can't we say we don't fully understand these things? Why yeah, with all due respect, I think you, you're not following our intellectual reasoning here. No, no, I am, because I think what you're well, trying to So, do. I'd like to hear, hear what Simon has to say. So, when the, father, the when the I Father, when the Father, when the Father is called God in the Nicene Creed, the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. When you say the Father is God, do you really mean He's God, God, or do you mean He's some, somehow partly God? Or do you mean he's fully God? He's God, yeah. The Bible says he's, he's fully God. Yeah. Fully God. 100%. Yeah, 100% means God, 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 means, God, God means he is God by himself, right? Or does he need to be made God by someone else? He doesn't need to be made God. Right. So for his own existence, does it need someone else to give him life? The Father. No, no. the Father has life in himself. I, Correct. I, I would accept God, anyone to be called God, he has to be self-sufficient for his own existence. The okay. Son. The son. The son does have life in himself, doesn't he? Who gave life to the son? The father gave authority for the son to have life in himself. So he's dependent on the father. So he's not self-sufficient. That's why... Well, he's one with the father. That's why the son, if you really reason intellectually, the son and the Holy Spirit, who proceeds or spirates from the father or the son, or both, they cannot be God. This is a philosophical refutation of the Trinity belief that God is tripersonal. Because the Father is the only being, according to Jesus, God, the only true God. Did you know that? If I asked you, according to you, is God tripersonal or unipersonal? According to you? God is three persons. Three persons. Good. According to Jesus Christ, as reported in the Gospels and the New Testament, how many persons is God? I think God is three persons. No, according to, to Christ. Christ. So, yeah, I think he is three persons according to Jesus. It's not about what you think. What do you know? What Christ has said? But that, that is what I think I know. Okay, let me tell you what, tell you what, let me tell you what Christ said. I can tell you what Christ has said in the New Testament. In John, do you have the Bible? You've got it there. Yeah, let's, let's show it to you. 
I want to see what you what you understand by it. Yeah, yeah. because it's very very important. It's just the New Testament. So yeah, that's it. I, I need I the New can Testament. Stop the pair of you now. Okay. I can stop the pair of you Here. Now. The way I think Do you want to read chapter 17 onwards? Just read about five verses to sure. give you the context. Although, what what I would say is, I think I think we're talking um, we're talking abstractly and saying like, oh, you know, this doesn't make sense. At but last, at last, hmm? he, he believes my rock fighter. <laughs> We are using reason. But, but, yeah. So, so what I the same say, reason you're not going to worship a camera. Does the Bible say don't worship the camera? What I would say, is Simeon, can you answer that question for me before you explain? Don't worship Does the, anything except for God. Yeah. So the Bible doesn't yeah. say worship the camera. You would say the camera is other than the qualities of God. Why? Why would you? Okay. Why would you not worship the camera? So, can I, do you mind if I go back to my point go just ahead. before we go on that? One? Sure, sure. Um, so. I think we can talk abstractly and say, you know, we just don't understand the Trinity in the sense of like, he's... We he, do understand it. Um, it's incoherent. But what, what, I think, what I think that Jesus does is that he, step, he doesn't just step into, into nothingness, Haya. Hello. Um, he doesn't just step Hi. into, into a, a void. Yeah. Praise God. He, he doesn't just say... Praise the God of Jesus. He doesn't just say, I am God. Hmm? He doesn't just turn up and say, I am God, and, um, and that's, just, that's just it. I think what he does is he shows, us, he shows us through his actions, through his words, that he is, he is the God of the Old Testament, that he is, is he? he is the I am, that he is the Messiah. God of the Old Testament. Many names. So could Jesus say, Be before me there was no God form, after me there's no God form, I alone am God and there's none else? Can Jesus say that? So if Jesus said that, imagine Jesus said that. Before me, there is no God form. Now in Trinity, there is I, 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 and that makes us, we. So if Jesus himself says, I alone am God, then there's none else, it excludes the Father and the Holy Spirit. Do you follow so far? But I don't think it, I just don't think it does. Do you follow so far? I think I follow your logic, but I don't think it Do you use logic? Is that illogical yeah, or logical? God, be with you, darling, but, in God, is, God is beyond Everywhere logic. I think. You go, in <laughs> what did God? Why did God give logic to you and me? If it's beyond logic, why did God give logic? So God gave you logic to find the best, the the bicycle helmet, or did God give you logic to know who God is and who God isn't? Well, yeah, that is part of it. Yeah, right. Us our so, reason. so if you have a concept, I want to give you this example, and then you can say it, right? If somebody says, if, if somebody says, God is a father. It's okay. We're both, we're both looking for truth. No, yeah. no, no. You're, Simeon, but he's letting you if somebody said God is a father, mother, I'll son, brother, but he won't let me do it. and they're not four gods, they're one God, what would you say? Yeah. So I think I understand the logic. You'd, but what would you say? I'd, that, say that's, I'd say it doesn't make sense. Why doesn't it make sense? Because the four is one. Why doesn't but, it make sense? Because see the four is one. But, but in your trinity, why does it make sense? So I, I don't think it makes logic. I don't think I think God is beyond my logic. Does Trinity of concept trinity. of Trinitarian Godhead make sense? But I think in terms of the Bible, it really does. I just think okay. It's what the that's Bible why I asked says. you. In fact, the Bible doesn't say God is a Trinity or Trinitarian. What does Jesus say? Who the God is? How many persons, according to Christ, is God? I think you, I think you could. Well, let's you, let's you read it again. Let's well, read it. That's why well, I wanted to read well, John. Okay. From oh. chapter 17. Oh. He says, I'll tell you what. this is I, eternal life. No, I want, no, I want you to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that it, it stays with you. Yeah, go on. This and is eternal life. Mm. That they may know you are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. He's been so, for the so, so, okay. Simeon, both, Simeon, you, you, go argue truth, you, don't don't you go argue back. Simeon, and if Jesus Christ says, you, you the his Father, faith. are the only true God, the Father is how many persons? One or two or three? Question his faith. One person. One person. So according to faith. Jesus, like the that. Father no, 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 is interrupting no, no. you to even listen. According to Jesus Christ, the Father who is one person is the only true God. According to you, God is three persons. Do you agree with Christ or do you disagree with him? I think I agree with Christ. But so do you agree do God think, is one person? I don't, think your, I don't think your position of what Christ is saying is right. What is he saying? Uh, because I think Jesus comes and says, I am the Messiah. No, no, talk about this, this verse. 
when he, when he talks about God. Mm. Every time Jesus no, talks no, about no, every John 17, John 17. Yeah, yeah. verse 3 is the crucial verse, but start from 1 and carry on as verse 31. Yeah. So every time Jesus speaks about God, these are the passages we need to take on board to understand mm. who God is according to Jesus. Yeah. So you would not find Jesus anywhere else explaining that he is part of Godhead. Okay. He's I, saying... I think you do, but... Um, when he says, I'm going to my God and your God, mm. what is he saying? So I tell you what I do is why don't I I look at John 17 properly and then the next let's, time I'm back here we should, we should yeah yeah that's fine but let's read it now and I want to hear your opinion when you read your, your own scripture John 17 chapter 17 verse 1 to 5 and verse 3 is the crucial verse and I want you, you to really reflect and say if Jesus is saying the Father is the only true God why did the church tell you to believe otherwise and reject Christ what he says plainly John 17 okay so should I read from verse 1 yeah okay when Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life. That's verse 3. That, you, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Yeah, so people should know that the only true God is who? You, the Father. Yeah, so I think it's, so, I think so, it's easy to, to take verses out of context. No, no, not verses either, out of context. No, look, this is not what was out of context. Mm. Take the whole Bible. Jesus Christ says, O our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. That's who right. Who is he saying whose kingdom come? Whose will be done? God, the Father. The Father. Yeah. So, according to Jesus, whose will be done? But, the Father. According Jesus, to Jesus, who should Jesus you serve? When Jesus comes in, in at the start of Mark, he says, the, the kingdom is here. Repent and believe. Why is the kingdom here? Because the king has arrived. God's, God's Messiah. Who's he? Who's God's be? Messiah he's is not God. But who will be God the... sends a Messiah who is an anointed one so that people can worship God through the teaching of the Messiah. Yeah. So, yeah. why do you take Jesus as God when Jesus said himself, you shall worship him only, thou shall you serve, no one else. And because, he says... Because the Messiah in the, in the Old Testament is, is God's, God's son, God's God's. Do you know king. how many sons God have? And what does the word son mean? Yeah, son, son just means God's king, God's, God's right. Messiah. Right, so according yeah. to New Testament, Adam is called the son of God. Do you worship him? Is he part of the Trinity? So... I, I think that you don't. I think that's a mis, um, um, slight misreading. No, Jesus isn't Jesus isn't isn't king in the same way. All of those all of those mini kings are leading up to the king. Jesus so is still the servant. G yeah, Have you heard of Isaiah? Suffering servant. Servant. Isaiah Do you know the difference between king and servant? They're not the same. God is the king, and Jesus is the servant. So who should you worship? The servant or the king? Well, but God also says, I, I won't I won't share my glory with anyone else, and. And yet, Jesus is the one that is that is glorified with the Father. He gives the glory to his disciples. They all have the same glory. I don't think Just they have the glory five. in the same sense. Same sense. Read they verse have, 5. You stop at verse 3. Read verse 5 onwards. Yeah. He gives the same glory that he has. God but, gave him. No, it's important to understand that because it will clarify your concept about glory. True. Although, when Jesus says... Clearly, you've had this conversation before around... But clearly, I have explained to the Christians so to and I would like you to reflect on it yeah. as well. Because I am not cherry-picking, I'm giving you the context. Verse 5. So, I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. So this is not, it's not, the, it's not giving the disciples glory, it's yes, giving he is, Jesus glory. I'd really like to help you here, you know, in this <laughs> argument you're yeah, having. That's really I kind. would really like to help you, because you see, this is well, let, my... This see, is we're my, both looking for no, truth, no, aren't we? Okay, we're all looking for truth. It's all good, okay. we're looking at the Bible. And let me tell you the way I see it, like I said to you earlier on, about evolution. It's getting cold, though. I said to you about evolution. Now, I know through my sister who's got a degree in biology, that over the last hundred years, over the last hundred years, okay. genetics. I'll just, oh, maybe, maybe genetics. I just missed okay. I'll no, tell no, you no, what. No, 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 I want to no, show. Well, no, listen to this gentleman. I'm, I'm no, Christian, yeah, I, I really and appreciate I will, your time. That's fine. I want to show you because you've, you've raised this question. So I, I will, I I will, I will I tell you about where the glory is given 
to the disciples so you no. can read it exactly. Yeah, thanks. And look, also, I really appreciate the, the chat. I think I, just, I don't feel confident enough about John 17 to, to talk on camera about it. So I think it's so in John 17, 22, if I'm not mistaken. Where's the Bible gone? It's so yeah, quick it. to put it back. No, you know. See, see, that's because because I don't feel confident enough to discuss John 17. No problem. This will be last last discussion on, on on the Bible. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to see whether this verse is indeed there in in the Bible. Um, I just don't want to say something wrong. Anyway, no, no, I I really appreciate that. Okay. Don't don't say things which you don't know. I'm going to chat to you. Okay. Yeah. The no, glory no, 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 that you I'm, have I'm, given I'm, I'm me. Second, sorry, let's just read the Bible. Thank you. Verse 22. The glory that you have given me. So he's talking yeah. about the glory that he has. I have given to them that they may be one even as we are one. So yeah. not only they have the same glory, they're also one. That's read the Quran, my friend. Oh. It will really tell you who you need to worship. Yeah. Not, not the confusion that the Bible is giving you, but the clarity clarity of the message of God in the Quran that worship none but God alone. Okay. Thanks. I'll look okay. back at John 17 because it's no. obvious you've had that conversation okay. before. Yeah. Okay. You take care of it. Really good to meet you. you, you Let take me speak. Well, can you mind if I speak now? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Speak. But he has to go speak. though, that's why. Because I'm talking to you, as I said to you before we came in here, we were talking about evolution. Mm -hmm. And evolution has probably been proved by, gen by genetics over the last hundred years to be the way we've come here. Now, some people believe that the Bible is the Word of God and it's just totally irrefutable. Mm. Some Do you people, believe that the Bible no, is the Word of God? No, no, let me finish. The Bible contains a lot of truths. Let me finish. And a lot of falsehood as well. And some that's why people, the Quran okay, comes as a people. quality control to tell you what the errors and falsehood that has been introduced into the old okay, scriptures of God. Okay, okay. So, okay, listen to me. I want you to listen to me because I think you're nice, Dad. <laughs> Nice he wants to talk to you about evolution. Yeah. Okay. How much do you know about evolution? At what level? Have you studied it, Marlon? My, my sister's got a degree. In no, no, you, you. No. Have you? How can we have a meaningful conversation if you don't know no, much no, about the subject matter? Not me up. No, I'm no, I'm not. Go ahead, go ahead. Take care. Take care. Yeah, take care.